where I also find a generating function for each of the following sequences by relating them back to a sequence with a known generating function. For part A, we have the sequence 1, negative 2, 4, negative 8, 16, negative 32, and so on. Let's first write the generating series for the given sequence. We have g of x equals 1 minus 2x plus 4x squared minus 8x cubed plus 16x to the fourth minus 32x to the fifth and so on. Because the terms alternate sign and are also powers of two, the generating function is related to the generating function of one divided by the quantity one plus x, which gives a sequence one, negative one, one, negative one, and so on. Recall, this generating function was found by substituting negative x for x in the generating function for the constant sequence of ones. And also because the terms are powers of two, it's also related to the generating function of one divided by the quantity one minus three x, which gives the sequence one, three, nine, 27, and so on, where the terms are powers of three. Recall this generating function was found by substituting three x for x in the generating function for the constant sequence of ones. To make the substitution more clear, let's write g of x as g of x equals one. Let's write the remaining terms as powers of negative two x where we have plus negative two x is the first power of negative two x, plus four x squared can be written as the square of negative two x, plus negative eight x cubed can be written as the cube of negative two x, and so on. In this form, we should be able to recognize the generating function can be found by substituting negative two x for x in the generating function for the constant sequence of ones. This gives us g of x, is equal to one divided by the quantity one minus negative two x, which is equal to one divided by the quantity one plus two x. For B, we have the sequence one zero, five zero, twenty five zero, one hundred twenty five dot dot dot. Let's write the generating series. We have G of x equals, we'll leave off the zero term, so we have one plus five x squared plus 25x to the fourth, plus 125x to the sixth, and so on. Looking at the table, the generating function is going to resemble the generating function of one divided by the quantity one minus x squared, which gives a sequence one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and so on. Recall this was found by substituting x squared for x in the generating function for the constant sequence of ones, which is given by one divided by the quantity one minus x. But because the non-zero terms are also powers of five, the generating function is related to the generating function of one divided by the quantity one minus three x, where for this generating function, the terms in the sequence are powers of three, and this generating function was found by substituting three x for x in the generating function for the constant sequence of ones. So to make the substitution more clear, let's write g of x as g of x, equals one plus, let's write the remaining terms as powers of five x squared. We can write five x squared as the first power of five x squared, plus 25 x to the fourth is equal to the square of five x squared, plus 125 x to the sixth is equal to the cube of five x squared, and so on. If we compare this series to the series for the constant sequence of ones, we should be able to tell the generating function can be found by substituting x with five x squared. The generating function is g of x equals one divided by the quantity one minus five x squared. And now let's look at the last example. We have the sequence zero, one, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, three, zero, zero, four, and so on. The generating series is g of x equals x plus two x to the fourth plus three x to the seventh plus four x to the tenth plus dot dot dot. Notice on the right side we have a common factor of x. Let's factor the x out of the right, which gives us g of x equals x times the quantity one plus two x cubed plus three x to the sixth plus four x to the ninth plus dot dot dot. Now looking inside the parentheses, Notice how the series resembles the series of one plus two x plus three x squared plus four x cubed, 
which generates the sequence one, two, three, four, five, and so on. The only issue is the exponents on x don't match up. We have x cubed, x to the sixth, x to the ninth, and the series in the table has x, x squared, x cubed, and so on. To make the substitution more clear, let's write g of x as g of x equals x times the quantity one plus, let's write all the factors of x as powers of x cubed. 2x cubed is equal to two times x cubed to the first, plus we can write three x to the sixth as three times the square of x cubed, plus we can write four x to the ninth as four times the cube of x cubed, plus dot, dot, dot. In this form, it should be more clear for the series inside the parentheses, the generating function can be found by substituting x cubed for x in the generating function of one divided by the square of one minus x. But we also have a factor of x. The generating function is g of x equals x times one divided by the square of not one minus x, but one minus x cubed. Which gives us g of x is equal to x divided by the square of one minus x cubed. I hope you found this helpful.